Hi gardening friends, this episode was to be a garden tour but turned into a research project. So come along as we research. That little plant right there. He comes up in here and all around my property down here. He has this tremendous root mass on him. See that? And that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm going to task myself to come out and cut these with a scissor and leave that root mass in there. It can only help the life in the soil. It will be giving the little microbes food during the winter. And it's just very abundant. I tend to fight it every year, but as you can see, there's a minimal of it in the garlic. Please pardon the interruption and please pop the like button, the subscribe button, and ring the bell for any notifications. Okay, so I stopped the presses for this one very reason. I looked this little plant up and I found out it's actually an herb, it's perennial. Um, it's edible, it's got vitamin C and other things in it, um, but that it may not be the best choice to leave in your garden. So for this row, I came through and I snipped it with my scissors and I put it down low just to experiment to see if that's the better choice or whether it's going to take come back up and grow very rapidly. And in this row behind me, I pulled it up by the roots and just used it as a ground cover. So I'm going to add a few more facts and things about that plant in the further video. On researching this, this broadleaf plant is Creeping Charlie or Ground Ivy, Glaucoma heteracea. It is in the Lamacia family or mint family, so you see it has a square stem. It tends to grow in open, non-ground covered soil. On the plant, the leaves are opposite each other and the roots grow from each leaf node and creeps along the soil, spreading it vegetatively, which makes it considered invasive. It has purple blue flowers and these are actually blooming on the 28th of November here in Zone 7B. Ground ivy is considered a medicinal weed and an herbal remedy and it, it originated from Eurasia. It was brought to the U.S. by early settlers as a medicinal and as ground cover. According to North Carolina Cooperative Extension, ground ivy was used in brewing beer before hops were discovered and was used as a medicinal. Please research that with Master Herbalist for those details. Also, the, the plant is edible but is toxic to horses. The leaves are edible by humans and have been used to create medicinal teas and have been used in soups, jams, and other dishes. Although it has great benefits and is edible, I will mostly remove it from my garden due to the thick mat of roots that smother out other vegetations. And as you can see, it is very prolific in other areas of my yard. I will keep you updated on this experiment and experiments like these help me learn, adapt, and grow.